and welcome to my channel. I am Erin Witherspoon and I'm really glad that you found me. I love to help people develop their journaling habits and use creativity to do so in order to help them heal. I have done it with my own journaling practice and found it very healing. This is the fifth and final video in the series that I'm calling Hand Lettering Basics, The Numbers. And I'm showing you today how to hand letter the numbers nine and zero. In my previous four videos of this series, you learned all the other numbers. So if you haven't yet uh, tackled those ones, feel free to go back and watch those videos whenever you get a minute. Before we get started with nine and zero, let's see what you're going to need in order to be able to follow along with me. You can use items that you have on hand. There's no special tools needed uh, to achieve this hand lettered look. So just grab a marker, a pen, a pencil, an eraser, and some paper. Now if you're going to use blank white printer paper, you're also going to need a ruler or a straight edge to draw the guidelines that you'll see on the page that I'm using. Or you can skip that step and go straight to my website where you can download your handy dandy and free hand lettering practice sheet and print that off onto uh, some printer paper yourself. Um, I should also give you a brief warning that you'll see in these videos that I'm using a Sharpie to do hand lettering and you can use whatever marker or pen you like uh, but in these videos I'm using Sharpie and I just want to make sure that you know that if you don't use a really heavy paper the Sharpie will bleed through your page and onto the surface that you're working on and it's permanent so to prevent that I use a 96 pound artist paper but if you don't have anything that thick on hand, you can always practice on a regular sheet of printer paper, but then just stack up some scrap papers underneath that page that you're working on to catch the bleed through. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go then. Let's just jump right in and get to work. The secret to hand lettering is that you want to leave the upstrokes thin and thicken the downstrokes. So I'm gonna show you with pencil here where exactly you're gonna to wanna to thicken. So that's the downstroke, that is also the downstroke. So this part of the bump here is a downstroke. That would be an upstroke. And this part is the downstroke as well. So you're going to thicken those downstrokes. And when you do, it'll look something like this. Practice makes progress. So let's keep practicing. Uh, wait, maybe we should just go ahead with the marker. Uh, I forgot what I was doing there for a minute. Okay, so with the Sharpie, there you go. You make a bump on the nine, thicken up that down stroke, just like that, and then thicken up this down stroke as well. All right, let's do it one more time. like that. I like to curve my longer downstrokes. I feel like it makes it look um, I just more aesthetically pleasing to me. So now if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that um, I like to show you more than one way to create these numbers. So let's try another way to, to make a nine and show you how that will look with hand lettering. All right, so this part here is a downstroke. So we'll go ahead and show you what that'll look like once you thicken it. Now let's just go ahead and grab the Sharpie. And we'll thicken up the downstroke right here. Now it doesn't matter if you thicken the downstrokes to the left or the right. Um, the only thing that matters is that you keep in mind how close the next character is to where you're currently working. And that might determine whether or not you thicken to the left or the right of the downstroke. Keep your, to keep your spacing as even as you like it to be. Yeah. So that's the other way to do the number nine. Let's move on then to the number zero. Grab the pencil again. 
there's your zero. And that right there, my friends, is the downstroke. That would be the upstroke. So of course, just like with all the rest, you're going to thicken up the downstroke. And when you do, it will look something like this. All right, grab that Sharpie again. Time for some commitment. <laughs> There's the circle of the zero, and there is the downstroke. Let's try that again. You'll notice that in the first one that I did here with Sharpie, I started on the right-hand side, and I went up over the top of the oval of the circle before coming back down. I find that that helps me to keep from getting an egg shape. If I start at the top of the zero, I tend to get kind of like a point up at the top. So if I start on the right or left hand side, I get a rounder top. All right, just like with the other numbers, there are two ways to do it. So let's show you another way. Draw that zero. That's the downstroke. But what about for those folks who like to put the line through the line through the zero? And that would be an uppy kind of uppish stroke. So when you use your marker, it's going to look something like this. You thicken up that downstroke side. The upstroke stays thin. So you've got all the weight on the, on the left-hand side. That's what the zero would look like if you were just writing it, for those of you who've never written a zero with the line through it. All right, with the Sharpie then, this is how it will look. Zoop. course you can do it to put the stripe in first and you're going to go and color in that downstroke so you won't even see it and that's it that's that's all there is to it the numbers nine and zero hold on there don't run away just yet if you've been watching the previous videos in this series then you know that I have added a little Surprise doodling tutorial. And to just the like end that, this series one of is hand over. If you have not yet tutorials. seen the rest and of the videos no in this series, I encourage you to go back We've and done a few different options, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw the cutest today. little plant. And I thank plant. you for joining me. I'm looking so forward to very much to next week. So you'll see I've got a narrower marker. Week, you can always do this with a broader tip marker if you've been using Sharpie or Crayola or whatever. Whatever you've been using, you can continue to use those markers. It's around here somewhere on um, this I'm page. using two different colors of green here. The outline of the plant is I'd also uh, encourage you to subscribe to my channel so that you just don't miss and anything. And then when I kind of doodled so in the middle of the, we'll see you back here the plant, week. I used a lighter green, but you don't have to do that. You can, you can just doodle away in whatever colors you like. Heck, it doesn't even have to be green. Just because it's a plant doesn't mean it has to be green. There's a quick, simple plant doodle. There we go. And just like that, you have a cute little potted plant to indicate the date. Well, that's it. I thank you so much for joining me for learning how to hand letter the numbers 9 and 0, and for following along this entire series. If you've seen them all, thank you so much. Um, and if you haven't, I'd encourage you to go back through the previous videos that I've done in this series to learn how to do the rest of your numbers so that you can practice in your journals. I look forward to sharing more ideas and techniques with you in the future and I welcome you back to my channel anytime. Speaking of the future, I upload a new video every week, so don't forget to subscribe today before you leave my channel and maybe hit the little bell button to get a notification when I do upload that next video so that you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on social media, either Facebook or on Instagram, and you see anything that I have posted of my own work and you'd like to know how I did it, please comment somewhere and let me know so that I can try to figure out a way to show you guys how to do the things that I've been doing and loving so much. That's all for this time. We'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.